and Kenya scientists are using modern propagation technique for cassava that promises to multiply applying materi planting materials faster, fight disease and boost food security. The Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, has adopted a technology known as semi-autotrophic semi hydroponics or SAF, which could be a game changer for smallholder farmers across the country. Our reporter, Dennis Oteno, tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. For years, Kenya's cassava production has been held back by limited access to clean, disease-free planting materials. At Calro, scientists have introduced a cutting-edge propagation method known as semi-autotropic hydroponics, or SAH. Traditionally, cassava is grown using stem cuttings taken from mature plants. But researchers say this conventional approach is inefficient. So normally when you're going to plant, you take your cassava cutting and you uh, put it in the soil. Now the soil will come up to around this level. But now, because the growth point of cassava is through the nodes, these are the nodes. What you can see here are the nodes. So if you use this method, you will be burying uh, quite a number of your nodes and you're left with a few that will then shoot. Another issue that uh, we have is that using the normal cutting, we have a problem with cassava uh, viral diseases. And a viral disease cannot be cured, can only destroy the cassava. So instead of doing that, we are using this method because it also involves screening for the cassava, typical cassava diseases. The SAH technique takes a different route. Instead of using long stem sections, it uses single node cuttings, each capable of producing an independent plant. This approach maximizes every node and ensures faster, cleaner multiplication. The innovation doesn't stop there. To eliminate disease risk, the cuttings are grown not in soil, but in artificial substrate. It may look like soil, but it isn't. This is a mixture of peat moss and vermiculite. And the reason that we use this is uh, the, the rate of diseases in soil is very high, pests and diseases. For instance, uh, we have nematodes that are found in soil. But our artificial media does not have that. Also, artificial media can also uh, hold more water as compared to soil. Each transparent box can host about 20 young cassava plants. Under controlled conditions, these can be multiplied exponentially, achieving higher production levels. So from this single box of 20 plants, you can get, within one year period, you can get one million cassava plants. Currently, Kenya produces around 1.3 million kilograms of cassava annually, far below its potential. But scientists believe SAH could push that figure up to 6 million kilograms, significantly increasing supply for food and industrial use. As a country, we need uh, cassava for a number of reasons. The first one being food security, of course, but another reason is for use in the starch industry. Cassava is used to produce a lot of starch. So Kenya imports a lot of starch. So instead of importing starch, we will be producing starch which is used in the food industry. Also another thing is, uh, Kenya as a country will be able to be fortifying our maize flour with, so it will be a point of, we are adding some cassava flour to maize flour. From a crop once dismissed as low value, cassava could soon become Kenya's next big agricultural success story, thanks to science and innovation. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.